God put each animal on earth for a purpose. Chickens are here for food, dogs for companionship, and cats to kill us in the middle of the night while we sleep. That is probably why the most notorious chess feline, the bot known as Mittens, is such a cruel opponent. The way Mittens plays, it's almost like it's playing with yarn. It gives you just enough string to keep you in the game and then takes care of you very, very viciously. Now, in addition to being a cruel opponent, the cat is a liar, too. Mittens claims to have a rating of one. Now, it's not even possible to get a rating that low, and it's very clear Mittens is much, much stronger than one, probably over 3,000. And in today's game, Mittens is tested against one of the best human players on the earth, particularly in Blitz, Hikaru Nakamura, who has white in this game. There is no time control, but both players played very quickly. Hikaru, again with white, begins the game with G3, he wants to get out of book. You know, get the get the cat on its own, thinking on its own as quickly as possible. E5, bishop, g2. And very quickly, what Hikaru is playing here is called the hippo system with all these pawns, but with colors reversed. Usually you play this with black, and it allows white to play a lot of different pawn breaks over the course of the game. Continues on. And e4 is played by Mittens, gaining space in the middle of the board. Here, Hikaru responds with d4, and the computers don't actually like this. Computers prefer knight to f4. But now after d4, this structure is locked, this bishop is locked out, and black has a lot of space on the king's side. b6, king h2, and again, there's a lot of maneuvering in this game. Computers tend to do that when they face a strong opponent. Now b5. So Mittens makes a very strange move. B5 is not the most human move on the board because it takes away the pawn flexibility from black's queen side. Computers do like it, but the reasons humans don't like it is because Hikaru plays B4, locking up this structure on the queen side, making it harder uh, for mittens to break through. A5, C3, some maneuvering. Hikaru uh, wants a mittens to take on F4 because then after EF4, he could play knight to E3 and get his knight on that comfortable E3 square. Bishop g4 hits the queen, so the queen moves. The period of maneuvering. And what basically Mittens is doing is looking for a way to break through into Hikaru's position. So the ultimate threat here is that Mittens is going to double on the A-file, which he eventually begins to do. Lots of maneuvering in this game. Now we see the Mittens begin to move. He sees this weak square on c4. Mittens wants to play knight d7, b6, c4 which hits the queen, and he can begin his domination of the queen side, and that's exactly what happens. Queen moves, knight goes to b6, aiming at c4. Oh, Hikaru's knight challenges that square, bishop g4, knight h3, knight c7, bishop f1, and now taking, and now rook to a2, penetrating into the seventh rank with Mitten's rook, gaining a tempo against the bishop on b2, which is a very bad piece. <laughs> you know, has no mobility at all. Rook to c2 to defend the bishop, now doubling, queen to b1, and now knight to c4. So you can ask, why would Mittens want his knight to be exchanged on c4? Well, here's the reason. After knight c4, which Hikaru plays, he plays b takes c4, and now this knight at c7 can jump into the b5 square. He could have also taken with the d-pawn, and the knight jumped into the uh, d5 square as opposed to the b5 square. Bishop e2, bishops are exchanged, rook e2. Now here, Stockfish 15 prefers moves like queen to f6, just biding time. But Mittens says now's the time to go for the kill against Hikaru. And he plays bishop takes b4, a short-term peace sacrifice. After pawn takes bishop, queen takes, and the threat is c3. And now there's a pin, as you can see, on the second rank. Queen to c1, knight to b5. And here, if rook to c2 to get out of the pin, just queen to b3. And the threat of c3 is devastating. Knight to f4, now c3, so white basically has to give the piece back. Bishop c3, knight c3, and now Mittens has won a pawn, this pawn on c6, so can Hikaru with white hold this position? Rook takes a2, rook a takes a2, and black's going to have to find a way to play c5 to get his pieces active. That's the only way it'll work. King to g2. Now in this, the next few moves, actually there are quite a few moves, 
there's a chance of a draw by repetition, a threefold repetition, or even a 50 move rule, which means if both sides go 50 moves without a pawn move or a capture, it can be declare, declared a draw. Um, but in this position, there's a very long period of maneuvering, so we're, I'm going to go through that very, very quickly. Just the, and basically, you can tell this computer is doing everything in its can, it can, mittens, to avoid a threefold repetition. He just keeps moving the pieces back and forth until he has to break through to avoid that repetition, which is looking at it <laughs> and drives you nuts. Now, king to d6, rook f1, and now mittens is finally ready to make his breakthrough on c5, which he does. bc5, check, queen c5, and now black needs to play d4. Rook to e1, queen to b4. Has to, he has to find some way to arrange to play this move. I'd have four queen b3. Again, a long period of maneuvering. And here the best move for Nakamura would have been rook to e1, because then d4 would be a mistake. After taking, queen takes queen to e3. Uh, this is just a dead drawn endgame, even though black is up a pawn. Uh, but instead, Nakamura plays knight to f4, and now d4, and black has. A very good position here. In fact, Mittens is just beating Hikaru in this position. e4, queen d4, king g1, and now rook to d2. He wants to play the move e3, so he blocks the queen's access to the square. So white can play e3, queen to e1, king g7, knight g2, rook e2, queen to a1. Now, Mittens plays a very powerful combination. Can you see this tactical shot? Mittens plays rook takes f2 against Hikaru basically forcing rook takes, and now knight to e2 check. He gives up the rook and knight for a pawn, and now the queen can, is unveiled against the queen at a1. King moves, queen takes a1, rook e2, and queen to d4. Now black is completely winning, but can Nakamura hold this position and get a draw, survive against mittens? Well, let's take a look. Rook e1, again, a lot of maneuvering. Now, after f5, this looks like a mistake. If you put it in your, your computer, it won't consider it to be a, an error. But for a human, it is because it exposes the black king, and now the rook can go to the a file and deliver checks. Nakamura was very critical of this move. Although, again, if you put it into a computer, it'll still say black is completely winning. Rook to e3. Now the lateral checks. And Hikaru gives up the g-pawn, or mittens, excuse me, gives up the g-pawn, so now he can advance the e pawn. I said he. I don't know if mittens is a he or not. Rook e8 check, king f6, king h1, king f6, just irritating the king. Now queen takes g3, rook takes e2, and here mittens makes a blunder. You don't see computers making blunders very often, but here mittens the kitten plays the move f4. Now why is that a mistake? Here is why. Naka plays the brilliant move Knight takes f4, double exclamation point. Why? Because if Mittens takes the knight, then this brilliant move would be the response. Rook to f1. And if queen takes rook, that is a stalemate. And the game would be drawn on the spot. So instead, Mittens has to take on h4 with check, and now Nakamura is going to try to create a fortress. She is. And the big problem for Mittens is he's stuck with a a rook pawn. So he trades off the queen for these two remaining pieces. It's just a textbook draw. Nakamura creates, a, and he does succeed in creating a fortress, basically. And after a, a long series of checks, let's go here. And now in this position, do you see how white forces a draw? That's right. Nakamura plays rook to g5 check. The queen takes, and pieces are exchanged, and we have a drawn King and Rook versus King end game. It was played out because it's a computer. Humans would not have played this out. So we see, boom, 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 and stalemate. Now, Naka said he wasn't impressed, but in my opinion, Mitten was just playing games with him like a ball of yarn. Mittens kept Nakamura in the game. Thank you for joining us at Chess Dog. See you again soon. Bye.